Johnny guys, and today we're talking about the DJI FPV goggles version 2. Now I said goggles version 2 because the rest of the system, including that new drone, has actually not been announced, but apparently the NDA released this morning uh, Nurk put out a video and he doesn't really give you a straight up recommendation on what you're gonna what you should do so even though i don't have the v2 in hand this is the v1 i'm gonna go over all of the five changes summarize them quickly and then make a recommendation at the end now i'm not picking on Nurk. he's actually my favorite fpv youtuber at the time i really like him he's kind of like the dude of the fpv well, that's just like uh your opinion man so here's the five changes in no particular order one it takes up to 6s battery voltage inputs now i do like this feature because i don't normally fly 4s on 5 inch so when i go to a race day or somewhere to go freestyling i'd have a giant bag of like 20 packs in there and i'd always bring two 4s packs so i'd make and i had to be very careful not to plug in one of my six packs into those goggles so now that's not going to be an issue i won't have to do that anymore two it comes with a small little battery pack of its own now the price of the goggles does actually increase um, but at least you get a little something there and it's rechargeable by USB-C, uh, the same connector that goes into your Vista unit, the same connector that goes into the goggles itself. So that is very nice. You can charge that with a field pack so you don't actually have to bring any separate packs. I like that it's very small. It looks like that maybe there's just one or two 18650 cells in there. That'll make it possible for you to finally be able to comfortably attach the battery onto the goggle strap. I'm gonna put mine right here. I haven't done that in the past, so I normally would have a battery hanging off in my pocket, which is always a pain. So number three is uh, probably one of the more major ones, and that's that the resolution is bumping from 720p up to 810p, um, but there is speculation that the air units, Vista units, all of the compatible um, video transmitter units do not have this upgrade yet so anything on the original system is still going to be putting out 720p some are speculating that that 810p is going to be reserved only for that new drone that we mentioned a second ago um, some people are saying that there may be a firmware update to make the previous units backwards compatible and some are saying that that's only going to be on something like an air unit or vc unit version 2 that is unclear we'll see what happens that's not a massive bump in resolution i really don't care that much about that but if it was um able to backwards update those old units and i could get a little bit of extra resolution in my dvr that would be very welcome indeed so that's kind of what my hope is but uh, you know for a release update they're even making this available on the dji website in some countries uh, it, it showed that i couldn't order it but uh there's just not a lot of clear info in here so that is we're gonna talk a little bit more about that later number five is that the refresh rate is getting bumped up um, to 144 hertz now if previously was 60 hertz that would be huge but it's not previously it was 120 hertz refresh rate and so refresh rate being boosted is always super super welcome you know back in simulator when i used to play uh, velocity and start competing against people i had a 60 hertz refresh rate monitor on my laptop so i bought a big screen that was 144 and doubling that refresh rate it was huge like latency seemed to disappear it was like flying crossfire for the first time again but on simulator so it is very significant but 120 to 144 i mean is that even going to be perceptible by most people not really um, and then people are also saying that the original vista air unit etc are only capable of putting out 120 hertz refresh rate video so that is probably not going to be a big deal maybe it will in the future so i don't even think i would call this a true version 2 this is a more incremental update it's more like a 1.2 maybe they'll integrate some of these features in the future so that you can take advantage of that higher resolution but 820 810p versus 720p it's so minor the the top five wishes that we wanted didn't actually happen no oleds right 
No video out directly from the goggles. Nope. No analog module directly on the goggles. Now there is a 2.4 um, radio in, inside, but right now it's still unannounced exactly what that is going to do. So it's not gonna give you an um, integrated analog module. There is also no redesign of the case. Now, some people might be thinking that's a good thing. Some people might be thinking that's a bad thing. It's a good thing because all of your accessories like this BDI analog adapter or your Axie HD antennas or your iFlight crystal antennas, all of those accessories will still work fine. So DJI V2 does not make any of those antenna options that we currently have obsolete. So that part I think is good. The part that's not so good is they didn't redesign the face foam or the front plate or any of this. So all of the gripes about lack of comfort are still going to be there. So do I recommend that you sell your V1 goggles to get these? And I would have to say no, I don't recommend doing that. In fact, there's a couple people from my town, uh, poor Ron sold his DJI system like two months ago. He's been fiending, hoping for a flight. He, we thought that the announcement was gonna come on the 8th, it didn't. Finally, I guess it's here now, sort of. And he hasn't been able to fly forever. I'd be going crazy, poor Ron. And uh, you know, I've been bitten before by that. I knew if I sold these goggles last month, I could probably get closer to 500. Um, if it is, turns out that I do want to get the, to the V2, the price of these might drop. So I might lose a hundred dollars, but I can't go without flying for what? Five, six, eight weeks. There's no way I couldn't do it. I'm addicted. Just like all of you other guys. Um, it's kind of like the PS5, even though we can't get a PS5, right? If you had one today, what would you do? Play like the three games that are available and then what? It's, it's even less urgent than that. So maybe these features will be integrated in a better way down the road. I would not even call this a V2. I think this is like a 1.2. It's very incremental. There was some rumor that the whole update was only to meet some sort of regulatory purpose. And I guess if that's the case, they did cram a few features in there, but I don't even know why they're changing the name. It's a little misleading. I wish that they just called it 1.2. Uh, be done with it and then come up with a true v2 with some of those other features that we wanted maybe next year or the year after uh, I'm not mad about the fact that they are not upgrading super frequently This was a super solid product. So I don't think there's a need to get on like a yearly refresh rate um, Kind of like how fat shark did fat shark would give you the minuscule amount of upgrades usually the screens change nothing else, give you nothing else that you wanted. Even the HDO V2 still had the world's worst DVR built in, the same one they've been using for like almost 10 years. So at least DJI is not doing that. So I could see pros and cons for having this be a must buy. You don't have to get rid of your V1s, they're still perfectly good. Maybe one of these features will be something that's a game changer down the road, but as of right now, if you got one of these, you're good to go. Thanks, guys.